All right, folks, so one thing I get a lot of questions on is when I pop this rear hatch, it likes to be closed by the button on the inside. If you're gonna use power lift gate, put your foot directly in the center, it'll pop, all right? It also likes to be closed that way, but it is not exclusive to that. You can click the button and close it. But if you want to close it via your foot, you can do that only when activating it by foot originally, all right? You can also pop it with two X on the key. So you just click it twice as demonstrated here. And it'll pop that rear hatch for you. And I'll show you guys on the inside, if you forgot to close it, you can close it on the dashboard, which makes it really convenient for those folks that just have really busy life and a big giant family, which these cars are designed for. Big adults per every single row, big families, a lot of gear, Stick it all in here, you forget, you can push it on the inside. We're working on the lift gate, and let's say you have a garage door that's really, really low, like your garage ceiling is, is pretty low, it's lower than the standard. What you can do is actually grab the lift gate, pull it down, and then you're gonna click the lift gate close button and hold it for about 30 to 90 seconds, and then you'll hear an audible ping inside the vehicle. Now what I can do is I can close that lift gate, saving that position, and I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. And it should stop exactly where I previously set it, which is right here. Obviously, if I want to reset that, I can push it all the way back up, click and hold that close button till you hear the audible ping, which it just happened. And now it's set to the uh, full open uh, for the lift gate here.